that much freaking protein powder, seriously. <laughs> which is absolutely insane. For that price, you could go to Starbucks every day and probably get two lovely drinks. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Charlotte. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. Before I get into today's video, I just want to address a few points. First of all, Excuse me if I sound bunged up. I'm suffering with hay fever at the moment, but you know what? The show must go on and I didn't want to not film just because I'm all sniffly. Don't worry, it's not Miss Rona. It's just hay fever. <laughs> I just wanted to get that out of the way. And then more importantly, I have seen some comments on some of my videos saying, did anyone else get an ad for Arbonne or for Beachbody before this video? And I know most people are just pointing it out that it's quite funny that an MLM advert came up before, but I have seen some people who are like, are you aware that this is happening? Like, are you okay with this? I think the reason that happens is because YouTube sees that it is a video about MLMs because I hashtag it, I hashtag it anti MLM, but I also hashtag it Arbonne and MLM because I want it to come up when people are doing their research on Arbonne say if they're looking at whether they should start this business I want my videos to come up so that they see our side of the story but YouTube sees that and I think that sometimes it's like oh this video is about MLMs people watching this video are going to want adverts on MLMs so it's the algorithm. I don't know whether I can stop it, but quite frankly, I don't care if Arbon want to pay to advertise on my video, go for it. I'm happy for them to advertise. It's not like anyone who's watching my video is gonna then go and join Arbon. Well, I hope not. God, I don't really know whether to keep this on or not. It's getting quite hot. I was chilly before, but now, now I'm too hot. So let's get straight on into the video. Today I want to talk about how the consultants are the true customers of these MLM companies. I've seen a few comments before of Arbon consultants on my videos saying, how exactly do you think you lost money if you got a product in return? And my very simple answer to that is, I didn't want these products really, and I wouldn't have bought them if I hadn't been trying to promote them. Since you can't go into a shop and actually try them and have a look at them for yourself beforehand, the only way really to try them out is to buy them. Sometimes the consultants give products out for people to try, but I didn't live near the person who was recruiting me. And actually, I think she was on a cruise ship at the time working, I can't remember. But anyway, I couldn't try the product, so I had to just buy it the first time, which yes, in hindsight was pretty stupid, but we all do stupid things, don't we, sometimes? I also ended up having to buy a lot of products that weren't specifically targeted at me, such as anti-aging skincare. I know a lot of people, a lot of women who buy men's skincare. Side note, is there really a difference between women's skincare and men's skincare? Probably not, but, you know, these products that are not targeted at you, you're still encouraged to buy them because consultants want to give products out to people to try them beforehand, which, in hindsight is actually probably not very hygienic but is common practice within Arbonne. And then I also had to buy products that maybe I liked the products I was already using but I had to buy the Arbonne versions because I needed to be able to lend them out to people or try them myself and see if I preferred them. Spoiler alert! there weren't any products from Arbonne that I preferred to the products I was using before. I've also seen some comments of people saying, well, I wouldn't have pushed you to buy all these products. I think you had a bad upline. And honestly, I don't believe that. Don't they tell you that Arbonne is as simple as just switching your products over, changing your brand loyalty, and you've got to Arbonize your life. These are terms that we hear. So what is it? Are you expecting people to swap all their products or are you saying you don't have to buy the products they do contradict themselves quite a lot you know they make it sound like there's no pressure to buy anything that's often what they'll put on those stories they've got on their instagram no pressure to buy anything it's only 30 pounds to sign up but who signs up and doesn't buy products so actually it's never just 30 pounds to sign up so anyway you get my point so I was having a look on social media and I found quite a few videos on Instagram of consultants showing off their Arvon collections. So I thought, let's have a bit of fun with this. Let's play a little game. I'm gonna show you these clips that I found and we're gonna try and guess how much the total cost of the products in the videos 
comes to. And just so we're all on the same wavelength, when I was a consultant, I was only in it for four months, four months. <laughs> I was only in it for four months to be fair, but I ended up buying products every month. And on average, I would tend to spend around 200 pounds, maybe between 150 to 200 pounds on products each month. And that is why I lost so much money. And I know I don't know every single Arbon consultant, there may be consultants who aren't buying every month, but I don't think I am wrong in saying that most consultants are buying something most months. So grab yourself a little drink. I've got myself here a fake fizz stick. If anyone wants to find a cheaper alternative for fizz sticks, just get a Barocca. This, is, this isn't this is Barocca, not sponsored. Barocca's aren't actually vegan, but this is just a vitamin drink that I got from Holland and Barrett. And I promise you, that is all fizz sticks are. If you want a little bit of caffeine, brew a green tea, mix it in with that, and you got yourself a fizz stick for about an eighth of the price. So I'm just gonna show you an example of these videos that I found. This first one, I honestly tried to add up the products in the video, but there were far too many. And to be fair, some of them, I just couldn't work out which ones they are because it was too far away. Most of them I recognized, but some of them I was just like, that's just a white bottle. There's no way of me being able to work out what that is. So I'm just gonna show you this first video as an example of what these consultants are sometimes putting on their social media. So let's have a look. see that that is a lot of skincare I don't think I've ever owned that much well no I've never owned that much skincare at one time that looks like a lifetime supply of skincare honestly right so let's get into the game I did try to work it out in Canadian and Australian dollars as well but honestly it was so confusing because on the website, I don't understand why, but on Arbonne's website, if something is out of stock, it doesn't show you the price of it. And for some reason, everything is out of stock at the moment in Canada and Australia. So apologies to anyone who's playing along from Canada or Australia, but I've got the prices. I've worked them out in British pounds and US dollars. So if you want to try and play along, probably US dollars will be easier if you are not from either of those countries, but want to play along. So I'm gonna show you the video, give you a little bit of time to estimate how much you reckon is in this video. Don't cheat, get a piece of paper, write down your answers, and then at the end, we'll see how close we are. So we start off with two shower gels, and then up here we've got a box of fizz sticks, we've got some protein powder and another box of fizz sticks, then we've got two lip sticks, some product, I don't know what that is, green tea, and some hair products. That product that I didn't know is called Counter Spot Essence. I have no clue what it does, but it's expensive. <laughs> so the next video here, it's a little bit faster. So I'm gonna try and read out what she's got in this video. Greens Balance, we've got Digestion Plus. We have three fizz sticks, two detox teas, a chocolate and a vanilla protein powder, a body cleanse, a water bottle and a shaker, because one water bottle is not enough. Okay, this next video, I actually do know this person. So at the top we have eight bags of protein powder. We have two boxes of protein bars all laid out on the shelf there. We have three boxes of herbal teas. We have greens balance, fibre support, a box of fizz sticks, but let's face it, that's not the only box this person has. <laughs> we have a body cleanse, we have mineral boost, we have Inner Calm, which apparently is a drink that's supposed to make you calm. We have a Good To Be Green set, which I have no idea what it is. It comes with a bottle, it comes with some measuring stuff. And then a Digestion Plus. I haven't included the tins because I couldn't find them anywhere on the website. So just ignore the tins. This next video, obviously I couldn't see all of the products that were in her makeup bag, but let's have a look at how many palettes she has in this video. And I want you to guess how much the palettes come to. Now bear in mind, I think that Arbonne only have three different palettes, so <laughs> she's got 
repeats there of the same palette. And then one more video to have a look at. So this person is showing a drink that they take each morning. So the first thing she puts in is Digestion Plus, which is supposed to be a prebiotic and probiotic. Then we've got this new Inner Calm, that drink that makes you calm. Then we have Electrolytes here. So that's like a post-workout kind of drink to replace your salts. And then we have the infamous fizz stick. Looking at these videos sometimes it really makes me cringe because the fizz sticks were fine, they were nothing special but they didn't taste disgusting, but the digestion plus was horrible. I haven't tried either of those other things but if they're anything like the digestion plus. So pens down, let's mark our questions now. So just to earn some points, because points are always fun, if you're within £30 or $30 of the actual price, give yourself a point. <laughs> and also let me know in the comments what your answers are. Don't change them, don't cheat, let's see how close we are. So before we go through these answers, I have taken the consultant discount off. So this is not the price that it says on the website, this is the price taking off their 35% discount. So in total, that video is £250.25 or $279.50. Okay, in the next video. So the total for that video is £297.70 or $309.40. Okay, the next video. This is the biggest one of the whole lot. As you could probably tell from the actual video, there was so much there. So we start off with eight bags of protein. So eight bags of protein comes to £332.80. Who needs that much freaking protein powder? Seriously. <laughs> so the total for this video is £618.80 or $724.75. Okay, this next video, this one was how much do we reckon those five palettes cost? So for those five palettes in pounds is £162.50 or $182. And then finally, this drink in the last video. So the total for that last video would be £108.55 or $142.35. So just to put that into perspective, each one of those drinks costs about £4 or $4.75, which is absolutely insane. For that price, you could go to Starbucks every day and probably get two lovely drinks. Anyway, I hope that this video has made my point very clear that the true customers are actually the consultants. Now, when you consider how much money these consultants are spending on products each month, it makes a lot more sense why the majority of them are not making any money or losing money. Because let's remember, the income disclosure statements don't take into consideration your business expenses. So that would include any products that you buy either for yourself or to lend out to people. It doesn't include any trainings that you have to pay to go to. It doesn't include the flights if you have to go abroad, hotel or accommodation. It doesn't include any of that. Say maybe you have to buy a new phone or a laptop or Wi-Fi doesn't take into consideration any of these business expenses. So that's why you might look at the income disclosure statement if you're not quite sure how to read it. You see that most people are making at least some money, but it doesn't take into consideration all of those business expenses. And I think we can see if people are making orders like the ones we've seen regularly, it's no wonder they're losing money. If you enjoyed this video, you got all the way to the end, please leave a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how well you did in our little quiz. Oh, I nearly forgot. I have had a lot of people ask me if they can send me videos or posts or pictures for me to react to in a video. So, so that I don't get them all in my personal email address, I've set up an email address that you can send submissions to. So I'll put that email address up on the screen. It is charlottedyoutube at hotmail.com. Couldn't get charlotteyoutube at hotmail.com because as you can imagine, that was already taken. So yes, please feel free to send any videos or anything that you'd like me to react to, to that email address. I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you all in my next video.